Welcome to Luxon Photography. Today I have a review and a user experience of somebody who came to Hamburg and wanted to learn from me how to photograph people on the streets and how to make money with it. And uh, this is something very strange, me talking about something that I offer, but I'm not going to talk about what I offer, I'm talking about the experience that I've had because, <clears throat> you know, I photograph people on the streets in, very, in two or three minutes, wherever I meet them, and they can buy the images afterwards, so I can actually live off of doing that. And I've created a video course where people can learn how, how they can do that too. And I try to put everything in that course that I can give, so people will actually do it and go out into the action. Now I know that sometimes you need some help to start the the rolling process and because of that I've decided to give workshops where you come and meet me in person and we together go out on the streets photograph people on the streets so you get the experience it actually works you get the experience I can do that you get the experience they said yes and then after that you have that positive experience that's an anchor point and whenever that whenever you are then out alone you can Think about that emotionally, that positive experience that it worked, and then do it alone. But without that experience, once that it worked, you might just walk around town without talking to anybody. So that's the introduction. And then I received, I made a video about it last month, and then I received an email of somebody telling me he'd love to learn from me. He, he's seen the course and he, he tried it already on the streets and he wanted to, to, to get deeper into it. And he wrote me in English and I live in Germany. So I then asked, okay, oh, where do you live? And he says, in Birmingham. And I thought, okay, if you like, I come to Birmingham and we do it there. So it probably make more sense uh, to make it in your environment. And you know, you know what he said? I mean, that's crazy, crazy philosophy. He said, no, I think it will be harder in Germany, so uh, we, we better do it over there. If I can do it in Germany, it will be much. It will probably be easy in England, because he's English. And I think, it, man, what, what a crazy philosophy. We live in a world of comfort. Everything is easy. Everybody complains about small stuff. Traffic. Everybody is complaining very easily. And there's this guy who says, no, if I have the choice between easy and hard, let's, let's choose the hard way because I learn more, I become more. And then, just some days ago on Saturday, we met. It's the end of January, it was raining the day before that it was snowing, it was below zero degrees. And, you know, January and February are the most difficult month to photograph people on the streets. Christmas is over, New Year's is over, people are back to work, they don't have much money, they spend it all on Christmas. A reality hits them again. And so I met him in Hamburg. And he was older than me. He had lived in Germany, but he, I think he said he, he hadn't spoken English, German for nine years or so. So it was, there was, you know, the core the core of it was to photograph people on the streets, to give joy to others and to do something good for somebody else. That is the core. Then there are circumstances. Weather is a circumstance. can be great, sunny, can be very bad, raining. And it was raining. There were many circumstances that were challenging. I'm not going to say difficult because difficult can be a negative word. I'm going to say challenging. And so I was wondering how he would take it off. So we start the day, first in a conversation, and then I did the first shoot. I photographed a couple on the streets right there, talked to them, photographed them, so he could see how I do it. He knew that already from the video course and from the videos here on YouTube, but he, he saw it. And then I said, okay, now it's your turn. <laughs> and then guess what? Then he talked to the first girl, very beautiful girl, nice uh, red hair, nice makeup. <laughs> And he photographed her. And man, I think that was such a beautiful thing to see. I mean, he was older than me and the girl was younger than me. So there was an age difference. You could say difficulty or challenge. But they were so connected. And I stood there on the outside seeing this. 
man, oh, it's such a beautiful thing. And I had my camera with me, so I took it out, took some pictures of him taking the pictures. And then we did another shoot, he did another shoot. And then we just walked around again. And then I said, okay, there are two girls coming towards us. Go to them, photograph them. I think it would be really nice. And he, he didn't see them, he only then saw them from the back. And then I, I then he looked at me and, and I could read in his eyes, I haven't seen the girls, I only see them from the back, so I'm not in, motivated to talk to them because I haven't seen, seen them. And I said, now do it. <laughs> and then here are some images. He walks up to the girls, the girls are on the right, they don't, they, he can't see them, only the, the black jackets. He goes around them, says hi, here I am, someone from England, a little bit older than you, I have my camera, let's take some images. And then look at these images, man, this was such a beautiful moment, these two girls really having fun, and then the one is putting on her jacket, and you see the, the joy they have with him on the streets, you see it in the, in the images that I took, these are just snapshots, I was on the side, I didn't say anything, I was just a weird guy standing there watching what's happening, putting out my camera, taking pictures of them. Peter, the, the person that I was with on the streets, and these two beautiful girls that he talked to. I didn't, I was standing far away in the beginning, so they didn't know I was there actually. And it was such a beautiful moment, and I thought, man, this, what a great energy. He had, he had such a youthful energy, there was so much youth in the moment. They had the same age in that moment, they were all on the same level. And I saw, and I, 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 that was such a beautiful moment, I thought, man, that, that can be me when I'm old, or older. And, you know, I, I do this video now to show you, you can see, you can see me in these videos photographing people on the streets and you can you can think oh it's easy for him because he created that for him he didn't learn it somewhere he created that it's easy for him because it's his thing you can think that of me you could you could say you could think well you know he's so handsome look at him he's always nice smiling positive guy you know he's kind of successful it's easy for him you know people will stop and listen to him just because how he looks it's easy for him that you can think of me when you see these videos. Now here's Peter in another country. He speaks German, but you hear him accent-wise, and I think he talked mostly in English to the people. So he does. He is in a foreign country. It's January. It's really cold. It started raining. Germany in January is not beautiful. People are really not that happy in general. And there's this this guy looking for the challenge and finding the joy on the streets and he said you know when we get 10 to 15 shootings a day that would be great we got over 10 shootings in under four hours and here's some image how, how the weather was now look at the look at the weather this is where we this is what we had this is the circumstance bad weather we could go into a shop drink a coffee let's say let, let's call it a day let's go home doesn't work you know nobody's on the streets everybody is in a shopping mall doesn't work no it's a challenge and the, the, the more difficult the challenge, the greater will be the experience afterwards, the greater will be the memory. He will have a great memory just because it was raining, just because it was not his language, just because it was cold in January and about zero degrees. Because of that, this was a great experience and a great memory and a great success because of the difficulty. And I had my camera with me, so after every shoot, I took a picture of him and the people he photographed. Now look at this. This is a guy that is in his life, that has his own things, and now he says, I'm trying to do something else. Let's take pictures of people on the streets. And this is what comes out of it. Under four hours, over 10 shootings. And um, I'm not here doing this video to promote this kind of workshop. I'm doing this to inspire. You can see me in all these videos and think, you know, of course he can do it, but I can't. And I want to show you now that maybe you can. I mean, January, February is difficult. And even in that difficult time, he managed to get over 10 shootings in under four hours. And I, did do, I didn't do anything. I did not go to the people and talk to them. He did it all by himself. I did not photograph them. He did it all by himself.
And look, look, look now at how well these young women feel with him by his side. Just look at the facial expression here. Man, it's such a beautiful thing to watch. For me, on the outside, it's the first time ever that somebody came with me and he actually photographed people on the street. It's a very special moment. It's a really, really important moment for me. And I cannot even touch it how important it, that day was for me. It will have a great impact on the next years to come. Just this one day with that Peter who wrote me, Hi, I'd like to do that workshop with you. I come to Hamburg, no problem, for one day, no matter the weather, I bring my camera, I will photograph people on the streets, you help me when I have trouble, he made it, oh, man, it was such a great time. And I don't do this video to promote the, the, vid the course, I do this video so you see somebody else but me doing it in a very different, uh, difficult circumstance, and this is what comes out of it. These are not his images, this is my snapshots from the side. But just from these shots you can see, get a feeling of it. And now he's back in England, guess what he can do now? He can go to London and do this every day, if he wants to. And you can do that too. Thank you very much. Oh.